Welcome to Paradise. We're going to go behind the scenes today of the best stadium tour in the UK. It's voted in the top 10 for best overall experience according to TripAdvisor, the only football stadium mentioned, and it is in the top 10 globally for visitor attractions. With a record-breaking season, almost 60,000 people through the door, let's go and see what the fuss is all about. On their arrival in the new sports bar, the, the, the guests that are welcome there, uh, we, we take their booking and we find out where they've come from, get them to relax in the sports bar, uh, and then once all the, 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 the group has been gathered together, we, we bring them through the old main stand uh, in the direction of the, the first port of call, which is the, the board room. We're going to be talking about this fabulous football club, 135 years of history. We're going to talk about where it all began for Celtic, some of the key highlights, and we're going to be talking about some of the shiny stuff behind me here. What makes the Celtic Park Tour, Martin, a unique and memorable experience for tourists? Primarily down to, I would say, the passion of the tour guys delivering the tours. Uh, they have a, a wealth of knowledge of the club, uh, but that means nothing without the passion that, that the tour guys that they have. When I joined the, the tour group uh, about five years ago, uh, I was only the ninth member of the team. Now, uh, in order to meet demand, uh, we have 24 tour guides who are absolutely fantastic uh, and uh, their delivery is magnificent. The 66-67 season was Celtic's greatest ever season. They entered five competitions and we won all five. The League Championship, the League Cup, the Scottish Cup, the Glasgow Cup, and this guy here with the big ears, the European Cup. The 25th of May, 1967. It's a date that's etched in the minds of all Celtic supporters. The greatest day in the history of the club. The tour involves uh, primarily a visit to the boardroom where we have the main trophy cabinet within the stadium. Uh, thereafter, we have uh, some wanders through some of the corridors of power and we end up in the Celtic changing rooms or the locker room. There, uh, the, our, our visitors can see where the players get prepared for the match. Uh, and uh, get them prepared for the next part of the tour, which tends to be the most popular with all tour, tour groups. Now, it's had different changes made to it, but the tunnel we're about to walk down is the same tunnel that's been there for 94 years. So think of all the great players that have walked down this tunnel, not just the great Celtic players over the years, but the great players from all around the world that have came to play here at Celtic Park. Maradona has walked down this tunnel, and modern day great players like Ronaldo, Messi, David Beckham, they've all been down this tunnel, so we're walking in the footsteps of marvellous football players. We then take them from the locker room, we approach the tunnel, uh, and then we get them to go down the tunnel and get pitch side, have a seat in the dugouts, soak up the atmosphere, albeit in an empty stadium, uh, but that itself has its own atmosphere. Visitors do arrive, uh, we take note of where they've come from, um, uh, we then engage with uh, whatever football teams they support locally, uh, and if we can tie that into any connection with Celtic over the past few years, uh, certainly in the last what, 50, 60 years when we've been playing in Europe, uh, we always try to engage in that way. Now there was another European film that, final that we actually went to, and I was remiss not to mention it, because it was in 1970 when we played Feyenoord, and we have some visitors here from Feyenoord. Yeah. It's, there we are. So I'm compelled to mention this, even though Celtic didn't win the game. And an interesting one of the players was a gentleman called Vim Janssen who you might have heard of, who went on to be Celtic manager. In a few words, what makes Celtic and the Celtic Park Tours a must-see experience when visiting Glasgow? Again, it goes back to probably one of my first answers, that the, the passion that, that, that we have for this club is absolutely extraordinary. Uh, Billy McNeil did call it a fairy tale club, uh, and we certainly believe it is, and we do our utmost to, to, to bring life to that fairy tale. If you're ready to experience the magic of Celtic Park firsthand, don't miss your chance to be part of this unforgettable adventure. To book your tickets and secure your spot for the Celtic Park Tour, simply visit the official website at celticfc.com forward slash visit Celtic Park forward slash stadium tours. There you'll find all the information you need, including ticket prices, availability and any additional details to plan your visit.